All right, so we are going to close out Media Week with track and field. Hi, I'm Gabby Mariani from Dodger Media Online. Um, running is not only a physical sport, but a mental sport. How do you guys stay motivated during your races? So uh, I'm the only one. I mean, we all represent different events up here. I'm the main one for distance. Distance is a little different in that, you know, the duration of our races are a bit longer. So the the uh, you have to motivate yourself for longer. Um, but really, the the thing I do is maybe I'll like keep saying positive thoughts. Maybe play a little song in my head. Um, yeah, just keep rolling. One one foot in front of the other. Um, I think when I'm racing, what I'm really mainly thinking about is just trying to get to that finish line as fast as possible, which is, you know, a main, a big goal in track. And, um, you know, you're always trying to get faster times than you've had before, and you want to really represent your team. So maybe get some points for them as well. I can answer too. Um, I run the 400 meter hurdles, and so at the end of the race, it's only one lap, but it can get pretty tough. So I feel like I just run it in sections and try to just visualize like each 100 and completing that in the way that I think will win the race. And then I also do the relay. So I think the aspect of having your teammate that you're handing off to is a big motivator. This is Cameron Morales from Dodger Media Online. And since there are 100 athletes on the track team, how do you guys maintain team bonding and spirit? Um, so. As said before, like we all kind of represent different uh, events, and so there's a bunch of different ways that we all kind of interact with each other. I mean, we all kind of know most of the people from school, but I think um, being close with like the people in your event is super important. Like motivating your teammates to work hard and to always improve to, you know, not only help yourself but to help the team. Uh, also, with the drills and different um, activities that we participate in, it also helps uh, create a lot of bonding. Like we did a few, if you saw on the Instagram, we did a few um, reaction time drills where we were doing like different games. And also with the relays, when we practice our handoffs and stuff, it brings everyone on the team together. So. Hi, uh, Catherine Finnegan from Dodger Media Online. Uh, this one's for the group. How did you find your specialty event within the sport? Sure. So I've been running distance for four years now and really, well, it started as cross country for me, but for me, it was just a way to stay in shape. Um, and then it just kind of progressed to me really becoming a part of the team, but also like being more competitive up until, you know, last season, the cross country team won its conference. So it's really, uh, we've really built a built a program there and we we're doing the same thing on the the distance side of, of track as well I think and on the entirety of track yeah <laughs> um I actually so I started last year and I just joined throwing just because I thought it'd be fun and like some of my friends were there and when I first started competing I found some success and it made me want to work harder and it kind of just lit a fire that made me want to keep going um, I joined freshman year, and I don't really know what made me want to do hurdles, but there weren't a lot of other people doing it, and I had a friend on the team at the time. She's graduated, and so we both did it, and that was a big bonding experience and made me love being on the team. Um, I came into track freshman year knowing that there was no way that I was going to end up doing distance at all because <laughs> no. Um, I also knew that potentially like the 400 meter might be also a little long for me and though they might try and put me in there, I will resist. This year, um, I really did a lot better in the shorter races, so I knew coming in that I was pretty fast, so that's how I decided I was going to go into those. Uh, I originally started track uh, to stay in shape for soccer, but then I really started to enjoy running. Um, I knew I wasn't going to do distance. My uh, stamina is awful. Uh, but uh, And then I did start doing hurdles from one of my soccer teammates who also graduated last year, was hurdling, and he convinced me to join. And then I, did ha uh, I started to have a lot of fun with it, and it becomes addictive. It's very fun. Uh, I also started freshman year. I was doing it mostly to stay in shape. And I also don't like running for a long time. So um, I do a lot of sprinting events. And 
mostly all of them because I can hold my speed for a pretty long time, which is why I do the four. But my favorite ones would be the 200 and the 100. So I usually stick with the ones I like the best. Uh, this question's for Crusada and Thomas. Considering you both do hurdling and sprinting, how do you balance both events? Okay, so with races, normally for the 400 hurdles at least, that's the first race, especially in the spring. And then some of the winter races, there isn't a longer hurdle race. So in the winter, it's easier to prioritize sprinting races and then doing the 55 meter hurdles to stay in shape and like get ready and have your technique for the spring. I mean, I think most people for winter track are working towards their spring season. So for me, that balance is easy, but during the meets, like my 400 meter hurdle race will be first, and then I'll have a wide stretch of time before sprinting. And a lot of the techniques I use for hurdling, I'm building with my sprinting, so everything kind of correlates to one another. Uh, I think in practices, uh, we do a really good job, or the coaches do a really good job of splitting it up to where like you're sprinting enough to where you can do good in sprints, but also you'll be fast in hurdles, and then doing enough practice to where you'll have good enough form and be good enough to also hurdle at the same time. Uh, but yeah, doing both is also really fun. And um, yeah, that's about it. This question's for Maggie Kim. So you've committed to Middlebury for shot put. Is that a goal you were striving to achieve? Um, when I first came in to throwing, I honestly just did it because it looked fun and I didn't have to run. Um, but when I uh, started my spring season, it became a little bit more realistic and I just kept wanting to improve and like had colleges reach out. And once I realized that it's something that I could achieve, I actually started really working toward it. And as a follow-up question, how do you think competing at the collegiate level will differ? Um, I think it'll definitely be more focused. Um, we don't have a really big throwing program here. It's, I mean, last year we only had four people really competing by the end of the season. So I'm hoping to help build it up before we leave uh, so that we kind of leave a mark before everybody's gone. Uh, this question is for Ella. With all of your success in sprinting, are you hoping to continue running at the collegiate level or at all in your future? Um, I am hoping to run at the collegiate level. Um, I've talked to schools from the different divisions, D1 um, and D3 especially. Um, I'm just trying to decide um, if I'm going to lead with track or I'm going to lead more with my major because my major is in audio engineering, so it's a bit difficult to find somewhere I can do I can do both track and um, my major. So uh, still looking, I'll probably hopefully have my decision by the spring, though. Um, this question's for the group. What meets do you guys look forward to this upcoming year, and who do you see as your biggest competition? <laughs> uh, Distance-wise, the the meets we look forward to the most are Ocean Breeze because that's where that's where we're getting our biggest PRs, right? Uh, I mean, we're running typically there and Drew, and compared to Drew, just Ocean Breeze is just such a much smoother track. Um, in terms of competition, you've you of course have you have Chatham, you have Del Barton, but on I mean, we c I can only really speak for the distance side coming off of the cross country season you know bernards is a huge uh that they're a huge powerhouse they they beat us in in our section um so we got a lot of competition but we're, we're good program and i think we're gonna do well i definitely agree with ocean breeze it's probably my favorite place to compete and i'll be able to compete there uh next year um, I think for me, my biggest competition will probably be like HP and uh, Roxbury in the regular season. Yeah, again, Ocean Breeze, it's a great track. And I think, Eli, I don't know if you would probably know this, but that's where they have trials for the Olympics, right? Yeah, and it's an elevated track, so the corner is tilted upwards, which is why everyone PRs there. And it's a great facility to run it. It's beautiful. I think our biggest competition last year, there were some really strong girls from Par Hills who were running all the events, which was intense competition. And we've also, Mo Beard has had a lot of strong girls and people have committed to college, so. Yeah, I think basically what Crusada said. Uh, yeah, so of course Ocean Breeze, but then of course, um, like on Saturday is our first relay meet. So 
Uh, we're running a four by two, um, so we're really hoping we do good there uh, to see if we're competitive enough to do something in counties and stuff like that. And then, yeah, basically all of those schools are our huge competitors. Oh, uh, yeah, I agree with that, Ocean Breeze and... Uh, <laughs> uh, Ocean Breeze and uh, Morris County uh, Relays and Morris County Championships, those are always going to be the toughest competition. Um, I think also um, Randolph will give us a really... Uh, run f a pretty tough uh, a comp tough competition, I guess, for um, our relays teams, because we're going to hopefully do a 4x2 and likely a 4x4. Four four. Um, and then we also have um, Morristown, which also is going to be very close to us in the 4x2. So we're hoping we can get good times at this meet and hopefully get a good run for maybe top five in the, the Morris County Championships. Thank you. Uh, I appreciate it. Um being here. Um, a couple of individual questions. Uh, Maggie, where did you say you're committed to? Middlebury? Uh, yes, to Middlebury College. So you uh, uh, shot put discus and javelin? Yes. Um, we actually have another thrower um, committed there as well <laughs> for the same events. <laughs> What's her name? Oh, uh, it's Andreas Panagos. Uh, he is our um, lead male thrower, uh, mostly for shot put and discus. Do you have a favorite of your three? Um, I definitely like discus the best, um, but I am best at javelin. Shot put is my least favorite, but I like competing in the winter, so. And Ella, you mentioned um, you're so soft-spoken, I, I couldn't hear you. What What is your major that you want to uh, have in college and you're trying to match up with? Uh, audio engineering. With track, and this could be for anybody, with track having such um, you know, a variety of events in different spots, different times, or at the same time, um, do you ever find it difficult to try to support your teammates in, in what they're doing if you're you know, focusing on your own event? Um, because of the way the meets are set up, oftentimes if you're a sprinter, you're not sprinting and you can watch the distance races. If you're a distance runner, you have time to watch some of the sprint events. And then also at the end, usually how meets work, we have the ending races are going to be the relays. So that'd be like four by two or four by four or the first couple um, events. So at that time, everyone is there. All the teams are there either warming up for the next race or just finishing. So during that time, everyone can support each person as they go through the relay. And not everybody has to answer this, but I'm just I'm just curious if uh, if you could compete in any event, not one you already uh, compete in, what would it be? I would love to pole vault, <laughs> but I don't think I'd be very good at it. And the one day that they were doing practice for it, they weren't jumping in the air, so I immediately lost interest. <laughs> so safe to say, I stick with sprinting and. Her um, I think it'd be pretty cool to be able to like run like a 55 or to hurdle, but I'm ju I just don't have that type of athleticism. So, oh, do you want to sure. I'd probably do 200, 400 mid distance. I'd go down one level. I wouldn't go all the way down to sprinting. I don't know. 